AF-15E Strike Eagle at Royal Air Force Lake in Heath, England sits on the flight line ready to receive a signal to move off. Today the aircraft crew will be taking part in Exercise Atlantic Thunder, a joint bilateral exercise aimed to neutralise surface maritime threats. The aircraft is loaded with standard GBU-31 Joint Direct Attack Munitions by crew members of 48th Maintenance Group. However, it's likely in the near future these £2,000 smart bombs will be very different. Recent developments have shown they can be adapted with an all-new quick-sync anti-ship bomb kit, which adapts a standard £2,000 smart bomb for the purpose of targeting and destroying large vessels. It will be an inexpensive alternative to a heavyweight torpedo or an anti-ship missile, which deliver the same effect but at a much higher cost. QuickSync adds a smart guidance package and sensors onto the bomb's nose, giving it the ability to home in on a ship-shaped target. The bomb drops beside the ship and detonates underwater, breaking the keel with a massive pressure wave without having to strike the hull. A few months earlier, a QuickSync modified GBU-31 smart bomb developed by the US Air Force Research Laboratory was tested on a vessel in the Gulf of Mexico. The bomb was dropped by an F-50E Strike Eagle, this time from the 85th Test and Evaluation Squadron based at Elgin Air Force Base, Florida. This is the actual footage of the sinking.